more than one, and welcome back to another video, and another devlog. So, um, yeah, that was, that was fun. Uh, it might not look like much has changed, um, but I promise you, I promise you something has. So, um, you may recall that in the last devlog, I was having trouble with orienting the character. Because, um, whenever you turned left or right, when you, when you, when you uh, rotated the camera, it would freeze up the physics. Because of that, how, how rigid bodies work in Godot. Um, for some reason, when you use, uh, I think it's global rotate in the physics process, um, it just freezes up um, the rigid bodies for, for some reason. Um, and it just ruins the physics. And uh, so I've spent literally the past week, uh, even longer than that, trying to sort this problem out. And um, I did. Finally. Uh, I. <sighs> it, it took an embarrassingly long amount of time. Uh, and the, of course, the, the, <laughs> the uh, solution was incredibly simple in the end. But um, I figured it out. And I figured it out by myself. As well, well, I should probably pop, probably show you the code. Probably show you my proof. Um, my code is comically disorganized and just horrendous. But let's see, where is it? It's something. Yeah, here you go. So what I did was um, sorry. I'm I'm gonna be over, all over the place, and if you can't if you can't follow me, if you can't follow me, that's okay. Don't don't worry about it. But anyways, basically, I I got to a point where where um. You could rotate, and it wouldn't freeze up the physics, but it wouldn't rotate relative to your position. So, like, if you're upside down, it's still gonna rotate the same as if you're right side up. So you're gonna be rotating like backwards, and it doesn't work. Um, and so what I did is I combined two things. First, I combined this this gravity direction thing, which is how it um. It figures out which way to point when you're in a gravitational field. And I combined from another game I made, uh, Shootium. When I was trying to figure out how to make NPC cars move, I was like, okay, I'll just have a node here, and then it'll just subtract the distance to the node over time. And so I did the same thing here. You see we have a node that's forward, direction forward, direction left. And as you can see here, these nodes here are on this new swivel node. So all the all the mouse rotation just goes to this swivel node and the head node. So it doesn't actually rotate the rigid body ever. The rigid body never rotates. Well, actually it does when it's in a gravitational field and it's changing its orientation to the core of that planet. What it does here, it does the exact same thing here, you can see. And it uses this. And then... And then... And then, whenever you want to go to a direction, it just uses that, and because when you rotate everything because of the node hierarchy, it all just works. And um, I I don't think I've explained it very well, but if you understand it, you understand it. And if you don't, then I don't know. I just I, I barely understand it myself. I'm just I'm just so sick and tired of, of, of trying to figure this out. But I finally did, and now I can finally move past it, and um, work on the other parts of my game that I've neglected. Oh, I should probably show you. You can, um, you can plant trees. You can plant trees now on planets. And by plant trees, I mean you can't actually do it. So if I cut down a tree and I plant it, it's like squashed, and then once it grows, it's like that. I mean, hey, we all. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I was watching like a garbage video, um, yeah, yeah, like yesterday, and he was saying like, so he said something that's very true, and that's that in game dev, sometimes you can complete like a dozen features in a week and sometimes it takes a week or weeks to implement a single feature and um 
Yeah, I figured it out. All by myself, all the tutorials I looked at were of absolutely zero help. They came up with these totally just... <sighs> they just didn't help. They didn't help me one bit. But eventually I was able to improvise and adapt and overcome. And um... Yeah. And yeah, I've, I've, been, I've tweaked a lot of other things. Oh yeah, I'll notice all the planets are rigid bodies now. I want to get to a point where all the planets just like sort of like orbit the sun the sun or the star has a gravitational field now as well so um you may see that's why the moon was like careening into it because the planet isn't actually moving here so um yeah unfortunately when you have like planets moving and you're trying to um like be gravitationally attracted to them it just like doesn't work for some reason it's like it for some reason the engine doesn't like combine your velocity with the gravitational attraction of the planet. It's really strange. Um, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure out at some point. But um, <sighs> yeah, overall, over these past few weeks developing this game has taught me that uh, I just don't know what I'm doing. But I'm slowly figuring it out. And um, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, that's basically it. And um, I don't think I have any updates. So uh, happy Halloween, everyone! Halloween uh, looks like trick or treating is on this year. It was not last year because of COVID, but it looks like it's happening this year. Um, and um, that's exciting. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to say. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.